think this might be the place. You, you want to ask this? I'll yeah, ask this later. Why, why don't we ask? Excuse me. My buddy and I, we're looking for the island sculptress. That would be me. Hey, yes. Barbara. Yes. Can we come in? Please. Oh, come on thanks. In. We've heard so much about you. We're really kind of excited. Well, then I, I mean, am too. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> is this your studio? Uh, yeah, for the moment, it is. How about for five minutes? Can it be your studio yes. another five minutes? Yes. All right, then we're in business. Barbara's colorful work is unique to Key West. Much like the canvas she works on, sheet metal. Exactly. And uh, it's torch cut and then uh, bent with uh, brute force. I try to use scrap when I can, uh, but as you can see. Holds up pretty good outside? Uh, yeah, pretty good. Oh, okay, great. Everything you know. is coated with um, a clear coat of enamel. But it is steel, so if, without proper care, it'll definitely rust. In addition to sculpture, Barbara also paints, a passion that began her artistic career and seems to mark a new theme in her work. So, but, uh, this, is, this is my sweetheart oh. with the uh, Mr. Muscles here. Question for you as an Patina. artist. You must have something that, right. that you favor more than anything else. What's your favorite piece? I, I like the nudes. The nudes are Bill and I like favorites. the nudes too, yeah, but you know. That's kind of right yeah. up our alley, yeah. right? Yeah. You use a torch to cut these. In other words, you mark right. them out and then. I can't even cut with scissors. How do you cut with a torch without wrecking it? You, you know, it cut so smooth. It takes practice, and you see that blister yeah. right there? Yeah. Um, it takes practice, and you've got to watch it so you don't put your <laughs> hand in the hot bag. That's right, exactly. Yeah, she's about four feet long, and it's probably going to take me about an hour, hour and a half to uh, cut her out. Um, then she's going to need to be cleaned and deslagged. There's a little bit of slag, you know, from the torch, and then she'll get uh, bent for shape and form and gesture. Her tail will fan out, and her hair will curl this way, and, and then she'll either be painted or oxidized. Barbara led us down the street to her home. Because of the limited space in Key West, she uses it as a storage facility before the art is shipped to the retailers. Inside, it looked more like a gallery with completed works filling the rooms. This is a finished example of the girls like you saw before. And uh, it's one of those big monster lizards. So this is how you decorate your house then, huh? You know, it uh, wasn't intentional, but it worked out pretty well. Thanks, Barbara. Excellent. Really enjoyed it. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming it. over. It's a great place. Bill, you're getting shorter. What are you going to be when you grow up? Hank, typical of Key West right here. And I tell you what, I brought you here for a very specific reason. This is Tanya. Tanya, I want you to tell Hank exactly why this place is famous. Because we have the best key lime pie in town. That's it. Our quest is over then. This is it. We have finally found it. It's the holy grail of key lime pie, man. Well, where is it? Yeah. Bring it on. Bring that in the pie. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Here's the pie. Oh. Here's the pie. Just best for pie. you guys. And you know the best part about this? This one's mine. They didn't make one for you. What's the name of this place? The Blonde Giraffe. The Blonde Giraffe. Never eaten any place named after an animal before, I don't think, especially a giraffe. Tanya, I want you to tell us exactly what makes this the best key lime pie. We beat other 17 restaurants in town in a uh, professional division contest. So all the chefs in town com compete? Yes, and uh, our chef, Aldo Madal, beats all the, the other ones. Where's the recipe from? The recipe comes from my grandmother. In, in Brazil. You have key limes in Brazil? Yeah, we do oh, have it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Hey, wait, I'm going to beat wait, wait you. No, I'm beating you at something, oh, Hank. Okay. I swear. This is. I'm not, not waiting on you. The folks at home are going to see you and put your napkin mm. on your lap. They're going to think you're just nothing. I'm not going to spill any of it, trust me. Mm. 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 It's good? Mm. Success. Can I Success. continue to make pies? Yes, please do. <laughs> This is the southernmost part in Florida. This is the rock. You know, this is not even in Florida. This is the southernmost part of the United States. This is the rock. Yeah, the, the only rock I think of is the big prison. Let's go over and look at that, because I'm not really sure that this is the, the most southern part, you think? This is the rock. Okay, let's, let's go see the rock. This is, 
This is Bill's Rock. Hey, so this is the place that you wanted to take me, 90 miles from Cuba, the Conk Republic. You know, they could have repainted this thing for us. You know, Hank, we're actually closer to Havana right now than we are to Miami. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't see any red lights going out that way, so we should be all right. We should get there a lot faster. If this is the southernmost point, what if I go and stand yeah. around behind it? Yeah, see, that's, you know, really, folks, this is the southernmost part way over here where these folks are. Hey, right over here. Can you see hey, his camera? Over here.